Okay, uh, today we're going to do a tutorial on using Spartan to create molecules with repeating units on it. So we're going to make a, a meta-linked phenylacetylene macrocycle in this case. So let's start. So whenever you uh, have Spartan, uh, you could have a new build and then it'll throw you into the editing mode here. First thing you want to build the monomeric component for constructing a macrocycle or for kind of whatever molecule that you want to make. Uh, so in this case, we're going to start from a benzene. So we go to rings on the left side, on the right side. So this is the model kit. And then you're going to have organic, inorganic, peptide, nucleotide, substituents here. Uh, we're going to focus on the organic part here. Organic, click that. And we're going to select ring. And then you're going to have a drag down option here. You can select all sorts of uh, rings here, anthracene, uh, naphthalenes, and all that. We're going to just select a simple benzene here. Benzene. And where we add a molecule on the first time uh, on the screen uh, right uh, uh, on Spartan, a uh, single click won't do. You have to double click. So double click, then you'll get the benzene. And basic uh, things here. So Whenever you want to zoom in or zoom out, uh, you could use a scrolling wheel to zoom in or zoom out. And if you want to rotate this molecule around, you would have to press the left button on your mouse and then you can rotate this bond molecule around like this. And if you want to move this to the right or left or up and down, you have to click the right mouse button and then you could move it left or right or up and down wherever you want it to be. Yeah. So those are some basics of how to move molecules around in Spartan. Now, the next thing that we want to do is attach, let's attach an, eth, uh, an ester side chain on this benzene here. So esters, you first have, uh, in Spartan, uh, the basic building blocks is all these uh, uh, atoms that you can choose from. Uh, so we're going to attach a carbon. To make an ester group, you need to have an sp2 carbon first. So we just click on the sp2 carbon. then click on the end of these valencies. So whenever you have these yellow pointy ends, that's where you're allowed to attach uh, atoms at, atoms on. So you could attach an sp2 carbon there. And then, as you can see, the sp2 is uh, terminated with a hydrogen with a double bond. That doesn't look right. So we need to attach a sp2 oxygen. Select the oxygen that has an sp2 and attach it there. And if you you have to be sure that you correct, uh, choose the correct uh, hybridization. So let's say we want to attach an oxygen, but mistakenly pressed on the sp3 oxygen. It's just going to not going to work. So we need to choose the correct hybridization, attach. So since it's an ester, we need to attach an sp3 oxygen here. Select the sp3 oxygen, attach, and let's attach a simple methyl group here. So methyl group sp3 carbon and attach and uh, as you can see the structure doesn't look so right because this hydrogen is very close by to this methyl group so uh, let's press minimize and we get to that structure so that will be the more more stable structure in this case now uh, we want to make a phenylacetylene uh, building block so attaching acetylenes onto this molecule so uh, we need an sp carbon Select the sp carbon, press here, and we need to attach another one like that. So now we have an acetylene attached to the benzene like this. So you could attach one by one using this sp carbon option. Instead of that, uh, we could use a different option. So let's delete this. So you can uh, come to delete, and it's always a good idea if you want to delete more than one atom, it's a good idea to uh, press on delete twice. One, two then you can keep on deleting as much as you want. It's, if you don't do that, let's say that I want, I press the delete button once. Then I press on this, deleted that, I want to delete that too, and it won't work because uh, if you press delete button once, you can only delete one molecule and come back to delete again and delete like this. So always, whenever you want to delete something continuously, just click on delete twice, and then you can keep on deleting. Uh, and another option to delete molecules is if you have a large chunk out here, if you want to delete that whole thing, 
you can simply press on the middle button, uh, uh, the middle uh, scroll wheel, press on it, and then drag, and you can select that. Uh, the other way to do it is, you could also press the left button and the right button simultaneously, click on both of them, uh, left and right mouse button, and then drag, and then let go, and you can select the portion. And you can't delete it like this, but uh, you can come to, you can cut it away. So you could use Control X or this uh, scroll down option here, and then Control X, and it will go away. It will actually be stuck in the uh, clipboard, but as far as we're not using it, it's fine. So, so that's there's that option, or so that's one. Uh, so for once again, attaching an alkyne group, you could attach one atom at a time, one, two, or you could go to groups, press on the groups option, and then you could scroll down, and there is the alkyne option here. So press on alkyne, click there. So we have the basic building block for making our macrocycle, phenylacetylene. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use this as a building block. So we're going to copy and paste this on and on. The way to do it is we have to select this whole molecule. Once again, you could either use your middle scroll wheel, press on it, or press on the left and right uh, mouse on the same time, and then drag. Then you're going to select this whole uh, building block here. And then we want to copy this. So you could, as you can see on the edit option here, copy shortcut is control C. So it's the same thing as uh, Microsoft Word or, or anything else on uh, Microsoft software. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. So we're going to Control C this. And then if you go to the clipboard, you can see the molecule that we just uh, copied. Now, if you zoom in with your scrolling wheel here, you can see this uh, yellow dot. It be, this is where... Uh, the attachments are going to be made. So as a simple example, let's click on the alkyne end on over here. Now that's where the molecule is going to get attached. So we want to attach this alkyne end onto the meta position of uh, this benzene here. So we want to attach it here. We don't want to attach it here because if we do that, we're going to have a dialkyne. That's not what we want at the moment. So click here, and then we click on the send here. Click, and as you can see, this part got attached onto this part. Now we can just go on and on. And once again, if you want to move this molecule around, right click and move upwards. And it's a little bit too large, so let's zoom out a bit with the scrolling wheel. And we grab, press this uh, yellow part again, and then attach, 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 attach. Like this. And we attach all the building blocks at the moment. But as you can see, the molecule is very twisted. Uh, it looks like a helix. So we, uh, a way to rotate these bonds around is you could uh, go to Edit and then select any bo alkyne bond like this. Select. And as you can see, if I select a bond, you can see this part is highlighted as red. And what you can do here is you can rotate that bond around. The way you rotate the bond is you could um, press Alt and then use your left mouse button. Then you could rotate this bond around. So this, like this. So press Alt, left button, up and down, up and down. You can rotate this around like this. Um, and we want to make it a little bit flat. So let's do that. So that looks a little bit better. These two bond ends are a little bit closer together now. So we want to connect those two valencies. So we want to connect this and that. So we go to make bond option here. So click that, connect, and connect. Now it's connected. So still the bond angles don't look correct. So you could just simply press the minimize button. And we'll do its simple math to make it relatively flat. Not totally flat, but yeah. that's where we're at. So that's how you use copy and paste to make uh, molecules with, re with repeating units. Okay, that's it for now.